Welcome to a production of Stanford's TLT Lab and the Stanford Makers Club, an introduction to the vinyl cutter. This video will teach the very basics of operating the Roland vinyl cutter and creating objects in the partnered graphics program, Cut Studio. So let's get started. The first step is to turn on the vinyl cutter. The second setup step is the blade. You may simply want to use the blade already in the cutter, but if your project has fine detail or if the blade is dull, load a new cutting blade. Next, load the roll of vinyl paper from the back of the machine and pull up on the locking lever. The last step of setup is to press enter for the roll setting option on the keypad. Adjust the pressure setting by pressing the force button, then the right arrow to select. Use the up and down arrows to change the cutting pressure. 150 GF works well for most vinyl. Then press enter and then menu. The next stage is making the computer graphic. Open Cut Studio. Both the drawing and the cutting origins are in the lower left corner. Click on the star icon to make a simple shape. Cursor on the screen to place the shape. The Properties menu item in the upper right corner allows for changes to the number of sides and the orientation of the shape. For this example, a simple triangle is great. It is moved as close to the origin as possible to reduce wasted vinyl scraps. Now we are ready to send the file to the vinyl cutter. Go to File, then Cutting. Verify that the Roland cutter is selected and that the cutting area width matches what is available on the vinyl roll. Then click OK. Now your piece gets cut. This is the exciting part. Let's watch it again, close up. Afterwards, use the roll feed arrows to move your cut piece forward. Soft stick blue tape or masking tape is helpful to remove your sticker from the large roll. Now you can place stickers or decals wherever you want. With your newly learned skills, go play with the vinyl cutter and see what you can make.